Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell, about my scale I've built. I wanted to show you, last time we realized, okay, we had a little drift. And I wanted to determine if this little drift is somehow stopped or not or whatever. Yeah? The cause, I wanted to determine the cause. And I found the cause. Okay, it was me. Yeah? Again, it was me. A lot of... I would say 95%. Meanwhile, I would say 95% of the problems are between the screen and the rest of your back, rest of your seat. Huh? But show you. Huh? I tried to record this. I tried to record uh, the, the, the measurements of the scale. I have this spring which is loaded from below because I thought then I can use a one kilo load cell and put one kilo from the bottom and then I can put two kilos from top and then I have more range simply. Yeah? So I build in this scale, uh, this, this spring. Here, this is what happening if we are with spring load. See, spring load to approximately 960 grams pressure from the bottom yeah? and this is how this drifted. This is getting heavier. It's not getting heavier. It was just sitting on my desk. Yeah, it says it was not getting heavier. So I think that the spring somehow changes over time. Yeah? And what is happening here? Here, this drop here, sudden drop. We started at zero, of course. Yeah, and then this drifted away. And this drop was because I moved it a little bit. So there is something going on. So I thought, okay, spring, it seems to be the spring. So I simply unscrewed this so that the spring is barely touching the, the load cell itself. Then it looked like that. Yeah? And here I did not realize what I'm seeing. Uh, what is this and so on. Yeah. Uh, here I zeroed it. So I made tar. Uh, and okay, then it drifted a little bit, so I waited a little bit longer yeah, to see if this is stopping. And this is how it looks like long term drift. So you see, it's from 12 20, it's around in an, in an hour. Yeah, within an hour, it drifted from zero to whatever zero to five grams or something like that, minus zero to five grams. Then I made again a reset. And then it looked pretty stable. Good. Yeah. Reset. I press the reset button of the of the so not the tar button but the reset button. And then it looked pretty stable. Then I stopped this. Yeah. And in the next on the next day, I have done the recording like this. Start from the beginning, and then you see, okay, there is something going on, yeah. but it's not that severe. So without spring load. It's significantly, significantly better. Hmm? Uh, then I made also test what is happening if I place 350 grams, around 350 grams. I was using this, this, those, those. Tools here. This tool packet. Yeah. And what is happening? Will I reach again zero and I reached again zero? Uh, then what is happening if I load this with 700? So this made, I made this with the tool set plus screw set. <laughs> and it was again appearing at zero. So it looked pretty nice. And now, right before I just unscrewed, I, I, I removed the spring completely. Yeah, so, because this, the spring was even touching, and this is now the actual recording. Uh, this is live. This is this spike here is when I moved it, and it even looks better. If we compare this, if we compare this to to that recording, here we are quite far off, and here this I moved it before. Yeah. And what I still have to find out, if I now zoom in here, not 60 minutes, but only one minute maybe. Yeah? 
and I place a weight down. Around 400 grams. Yeah. Then I remove the weight. Let's see where we're ending up. Perfect. Perfect. It's just dropped. Yeah. So there's even this spring barely touching. Compare this. When we come back, book, we are at point. Okay, 0 0.1 of grams. And if we look at that, we have this little whoop whoop. Yeah. This is the spring. This was the spring, it seems like. And now let's see it. if I place a bigger load. Zack. 320. And now this again. So 450 grams. Yeah. And now remove this. Drop. Book. Yeah. It is important that nothing is touching the load cell. All right. This is really important. Again, compare. Here, see this? Bike down, it's slowly crawling back. Yeah. Right now, actual recording, straight. This is how we'll keep it. Yeah. I will do some reprogramming. I'm in the middle of reprogramming. I show you afterwards this reprogramming uh, so that the layout of the display and so on looks a little bit more convenient. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's it yeah, for this video. Yeah. So you see, important, never let touch anything your load cell. <laughs> For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.